Hey, this is Fanta, and today what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually share with you um, or recommend a game that I've been playing recently. Um, a friend of mine has re really been pushing me to make content for this game, but I, I truly do not have a lot of time. And this is something I've been playing casually for the past month or so. And it is a very casual game. You don't have to like invest a lot of time to play this, which um, for me is really, really good. And what it is, is... Um, I guess I'll just kind of go in and and, uh, and show you kind of what the game is about. So the game is called Princess Connect Redive, and it is, if I have to describe it, it is basically the weebiest waifu collector game there is, alright? It's the weebiest waifu collector game there is. And it's um, it's created by Psy Games, and Psy Games made Grand Blue Fantasy and uh, Shadowverse. You can actually see the characters from Grand Blue Fantasy. Where, where is she? Oh, over here. And also from Shadowverse. And they also have a lot of like official um, collaborations with like actual um, animes. So you can actually see Amelia and Ram and uh, Gria over here. Um, and the kind of the first thing that caught my attention was that um, in this game they had like a lot of really good voice acting like there's the actual VAs of the characters you can hear this is Amelia's voice so um, and I think everything is like super high quality um, it just everything looks super smooth and you know side games also has their own animation studio so when you're playing through the story you can see in the back like these are all cutscenes from actually within the game um, so there's like a whole entire storyline there's people translating this on reddit on on um, discord also on YouTube as well there's like already a lot of people translating the story um, and I guess the next question is well why do you need translation and why haven't I heard of this game before and th this game actually is one of the most popular games in Japan right now and it's also um, currently like rank one on on the games played by like in terms of popularity on the games played on dmm um, dmm player is like kind of like the japanese the closest thing i can describe it to is like the japanese version of steam um so it's like it's very very popular um and the reason you probably haven't heard of it is because there's no global version so as you can see everything is in japanese i've been playing on the japan server um for for the past while and now this might put some people off and it put me off a little bit in the beginning to like kind of decide well do i really want to play the game um but then once i started playing it pretty much in like two three days i got the hang of it uh there really wasn't too much to figure out even though i can't understand like any of it <laughs> even though i can't read any of this um you pretty much figure out what all the buttons do what all, all the characters do and there's a lot of like translated resources um on reddit on discord so it really was not any trouble at all the the language was not was not any trouble at all um for me and um hmm. i think i should show you kind of what you actually do in the game so I'll actually go into clan battle to show you kind of how the gameplay looks like. So I'll actually go into a demo. I'll go into a random demo of a clan battle. Oh my god, it is lagging. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go into a demo battle of, um, of the clan battles. To show you kind of how um, what the gameplay of the game looks like. I don't know why it's lagging like crazy. I'll just go into it with a random team. Man, it is it is lagging so hard. It's the internet. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's, it's in Japan or something. Or I'm in Canada. So, um, kind of from first glance, you can kind of figure out what's going on. So, like, your characters, they attack and do stuff automatically. 
and then they have a bar at the bottom. So when the bar fills up, you can activate their um, kind of like their ultimate skill. And there's also a speed up and auto button auto button behind me that my camera is currently blocking. You can see. But um, the thing that kind of you can't see, you can't you can't really see in the beginning. You can't really tell the difference of in the beginning is that your characters actually have their own like skills that they activate that you don't activate. So they have like a skill rotation where they um, where they would cast in their unique skills before um, before going in. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna stop this battle because it was just a demo. It was a practice battle for clan battles. And this scene, this this uh this frame is pretty nice. This frame does look pretty awesome. Now I don't know why it's lagging like crazy right now. It usually doesn't lag this bad. Actually, it's the first time that it's like been super super delayed like this. Just when I record for the first time, it just it does this to me. So, um, you know, your characters actually have, like, three skills. So, like, they have, like, their ultimate skill, and then they have, like, two other skills that they activate on their own um, so that you don't have to activate. But each character act essentially has, like, three skills. Um, two is controlled by the AI, and one is controlled by you, and they also have, like, a passive skill. Um, all the characters are like this. So there's a little bit more um, planning and stuff involved when you're like planning your team rather than it being simple of just like, you know, having an ultimate skill and just basic attack. Um, it's they have like two other skills that they activate on their own and each unit um, has like different um, different patterns of using their their abilities and, and attacking and stuff like that. So that's. You know, I guess that's the fun of the game, you know, like planning stuff out and then kind of knowing, um, knowing when to use who and then when to like, you know, activate your skills and stuff. I think all, all that combined together actually makes the game complex enough to make it pretty fun because it, you could actually through the through like good understanding of like your units and stuff. Um, in PvP, you can fight someone that's like way stronger than you. Um, in in like clan battle, you can actually do way way more damage when you um, kind of maximize each of your character's skills by like activating their skills, doing like animation canceling and stuff like that um, at at all the right times and stuff. So that's kind of like the kind of the gameplay of it. Um, I think it's it's simple, but it, at the same time, it's complex enough to make it fun um, that's the best way i can describe it now um i guess the 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 question that a lot of people probably have about um, playing any game is like you know is the game pay to win or anything like that <laughs> like um uh, you know do the, do the whales dominate the game and stuff and i don't think i think so far um it actually doesn't like it actually it actually isn't um, really ruled by whales maybe in like the top of the clan battles um but you know if you're just playing playing normally um doing your dailies and all that stuff you can actually have you can actually be quite strong because um one thing is like you know in pvp you're matched with oh i just i won 15 in a row I won 15 defenses. All right, I'm I'm screenshotting this. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to screenshot this. I won 15 defenses in a row. That's that's pretty fun. That that sounds pretty awesome. All right. So um yeah. So basically in PvP, it's these types of games. It's kind of always the same you set up a defense team and then so the pvp is not like really in real time but you can actually beat people who are like much much stronger than you if you 
um, plan correctly. And sometimes like RNG crits and stuff come into play. So, you know, I was able to be like somewhat near the top, um, even though I'm not like, you know, whale or anything like this guy has whaled super hard, like the rank one guy. All his, he got all his units like five stars and all that stuff and I'm using like mostly three stars um, but I was still able to like um, compete with them and at the same time I also didn't use units that are like exclusive or anything like that to like do most of my PvP um, most of like the really strong units currently right now and like in PvP and clan battles are actually not exclusive so for example um, like like Mimi, she's like she's like super strong in PvP. Uh, she she's like only a two star when 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 she gets started, and I actually raised her to to four stars. I'm currently farming to get her to five stars, um, and also Misaki as well. She's also very very strong in PvP, and she's also like a two star um, starting out, and pretty much like there's no difference in stats. Um, between like natural one star two star three stars when you get them to five stars or the, when you get them to five stars basically all their stats are the same it just takes longer for you to get like one stars to five stars um, but also at the same time like a lot some one stars are easily farmable so you can actually raise them faster and the way you raise your units is through um, these like fragments you can get them through um, some of them you get them through adventure some of them you exchange them from PvP um, and some of them you exchange them from, from clan battles and also from dungeons as well so um, you can actually raise like a lot of some units to to five stars and a lot of the farmable units are also very very strong like um eriko who's the strongest uh physical dps in the game in like in pve she's only a two star and she's like very easily farmable and like her damage is just like unmatched from anything else. Even even a lot of like the exclusive units, um, like pretty much nobody else can match her in damage. So um, pretty much like a lot of the really really strong units in the game, they're they're like farmable. You really don't need to have like exclusive units to be doing super well. And a lot of the exclusive units are also replaceable as well. So I think in terms of like how winnable it is for if you're like free to play or how how pay to win it is i think it's it's pretty fair um but I, that's that's just my my opinion um you can play through the game and find out yourself but yeah i was i was actually able to do quite well with a lot of um a lot of those a lot of those units i'm not really sure what else i can show um, there's there's quite a lot of stuff to do in the game there's dungeons there's exploration um, I can actually show the PvP as well. So in PvP, it's like completely full auto. When you go in, it's full auto. Um, your advantage as the attacker is you can see the enemy's team. So you're going in and plan accordingly. Now the current rank one guy, I can sometimes beat, I sometimes can't beat, depending on if I crit. <laughs> if I crit, I beat him. If I don't crit, I lose. That's kind of how it works right now. Um, in terms of me fighting him. But the rank two guy could that could be pretty easy. All right, we're gonna go in. I don't know why it's lagging super super hard. We'll just do this this one PVP. So the key for me to win this one is if Mimi crits. If Mimi crits, he dies. That's it. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. But Mimi's crit rate is like really high, so I I I have like higher than a fifty percent chance to crit. Crit. All right, I crit. Boom. <laughs> it's over. I won. Wait, I'm pretty sure he can't stall it out. I'm pretty sure he can't stall this out. Oh shit, I might not... Oh my god, I might not be able to kill his tank. 
Please crit. I just need one crit. Alright. Alright, I won. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that was fun. But yeah, I think the the best way I can describe the game is that it's very well made. Like everything feels super high quality. Um, the the animation, the voice acting, um, like just you know the art and everything. I think it's it's just. It's super good. Hey, maybe, maybe it's because I'm a weeb and all I do is play waifu collector games. So that's, that's, that might be it. That might be it. But anyways, if you want to try it out, um, I'll make a guide right after this one to show you how to set up, set the game up using DMM. Um, DMM player is like the, the player that I'm playing on right now. And um, it's, there, there's a few steps, but once you like get it set up, um, it's very easy and it runs really, really smoothly on PC. Um, if you want to play it on Android, then you have to download the APK file for like, you know, we, we've all done this before for like games that are outside of our region. Um, if you're playing on iOS, then you also need to change the region to like download the, um, download the file. The game right currently right now does not work work on emulators. Um, a few days ago, it used to work on only BlueStacks and a few versions of Nox, um, but now it no longer works on BlueStacks. But I think it's completely fine because it runs smoother on DMM anyways. Um, and to access access the game, you don't need a VPN, but to install the game, you need a VPN. But I'll have a like a free VPN that I've used to install the game, and. It's basically like a three-step process, so I'll, I'll include a guide to that um, after this one, I guess, just so if you if you want to try the game out. But yeah, give it a try. I think it's a I think it's a pretty awesome game. Um, anyways, I my plan right now is I probably can't be making videos like regularly every day or every two days, um, but I think I'm. I can come back and I can make videos for this game, um, maybe weekly or so or something like that. And you know, right now there's really no um, YouTubers creating <laughs> creating videos for for this game either, because it's you know it's obviously not released in in uh, in like the U.S. and stuff. There's no like global version, but there's a lot of there's a big uh, English speaking community that kind of just plays on the. On the Japan version. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Take care.